Hello friends, it's Allison dropping in to share with you a new December daily scrapbooking layout that I created for Scrapbook Nerd. This layout is a hybrid and I am playing with Simple Stories, Mix and a Mingle, and of course my Cricut. My Cricut was used just to add the journaling and then the grid pattern that you see behind it. Everything else in this layout is from Mix and a Mingle except for this red pattern paper that I'm using, which is from Life Captured. And it works perfectly with a Christmas theme for a layout. Um, it's not Christmas paper, but um, it's perfect and I couldn't resist not using it. <clears throat> so I'm adding a little um, scallop border that I cut with my Cricut and then this snowflake as well. Okay, so I lied. There's a few other things that I used my Cricut for, um, but after this, I better not say that because I just realized I would be lying again. Anyways, moving on. I'm filling in the snowflake with some sparkle. That's a Wink of Stella shimmer brush, a uh, clear one that I have in my stash. Um, and then that is being attached to the layout base with liquid glue. The layout measures six by eight inches. It is going in a, a page protector inside my December daily album. And the photo I printed at home and it's four by six inches, um, easy peasy. So I'm just decorating the bottom half of the layout with my title journaling and then a bunch of layering. These little gifts were perfect to highlight the story that I was sharing for today. Um, it's about a gift that my daughter decided she wanted to give her teacher when she learned that she is going to be moving just schools in town, uh, not away. And um, so she quizzed her on what she liked and then ended up finding this recipe for lemon sugar, co sugar cookies, which are amazing. And I'm still waiting on the recipe. I asked her for it and she hasn't given it to me yet. I'm using liquid glue to attach all of these pieces to my layout and I'm just trying to get the spacing correct in my layout. Um, I want the title Joy to layer underneath the smaller of the gifts. So I'm kind of trying to finagle things and get it the right way. Eventually I get it after lots of <laughs> playing around. When I have that done, I'm going to pull out some of the foam stickers that come with the collection as well as the decorative brads. And I will be using those to embellish just a little bit further. But I guess before I do that, I will be adding this mat to the layout base, which is this pink candy cane pattern paper, which again, I thought was perfect for highlighting the story about baking. So this mat that I'm just attached to the layout base is slightly smaller than six by eight. So it'd be five and three quarters by seven and three quarters inches. And then of course the pattern paper that it's on is six by eight inches. I have a chipboard phrase from the collection as well that says Christmas. So the entire title will be Christmas Joy. And here come the embellishments. So I have um, decorative Brad and then Sorry, I keep getting distracted. I'm distracting myself. I have a foam sticker. It's a star that's coming up next. I'll use liquid glue to attach that as well. I'm just trying to figure out where exactly I want it around the title. And then I decide it's going to go kind of next to the snowflake, overlapping it just a tiny little bit. And then at the top of my photo, this is the last um, final little touch, aside from adding some more sparkle to that scallop border is there will be a little die cut tag that I add to the top of the photo on the left hand side. And I'm going to add a little phrase sticker from older Coco Vanilla Studio. Um, it says holiday memories on it, which is perfect. And I'm using this little star die cut also from Mix and a Mingle to bling it out just a little bit. Oh, and then another Brad goes on that too. So I'm gonna get the, um, the snowflake die cut and the sticker adhered first. Here I was gonna add the brad and then I was like, no, I should wait and do the sticker first and then decide where it should go. 
Again, the liquid glue comes out. It's my best friend. And I will add the sticker to that tab. Then I will add that back to the layout base before actually committing to where that brad is gonna go. <laughs> so here we go. Add glue to the back of that. If you heard that little chirp, that was Evie coming for a little snack. This is it for me. I'm just getting that tab adhered now and the brad and then I'm done. There are close-ups coming up, so feel free to stick around for those. And I will link all of the products that I used in today's layout down in the description box so that you are able to find it. If you are also doing holiday crafting right now, definitely go check it out. Thank you for joining me today, friends. And I will be back again soon, I guess, after Christmas. So I hope everybody enjoys their holiday if you celebrate. If you don't, just enjoy your holiday with family and friends. And I'll be back again soon. Bye, guys.